I became involved, aware of the fully informed jury association and uh, through study. Uh, the jury, the grand jury, uh, should not be a uh, rubber stamp for prosecutors. The, the law should be judged itself. That's what fully informed jury association is about. Uh, in the early portion of our country, when a jury was called of peers, they judged not only the indictment of a person for a crime, but the law itself. And I'll give you an example. Uh, Patrick Henry argued a case uh, where preachers, Baptist preachers, were charged with preaching without a license. So he argued the jury nullification argument in saying that a preacher should not have to be um, licensed by the state. That's jury nullification. It's questioning the law itself. And another example is in England, whenever nonconformists, those who were not part of the Church of England and the rise of Quakerism and Baptists and others were charged uh, as preaching false doctrine and they were being brought in. And this is, comes from the background of Oliver Comp Cromwell and, and, and the, the jury itself said, no, we will not and, uh, punish these nonconformist re religious individuals. Uh, and so that's jury nullification where the jury itself says, the law is wrong. So we judge not only the facts of the case, but also the composition of the law. I'll give you another example. In the Dred Scott decision, uh, eventually our country came to the uh, position that slavery was wrong, but juries would not convict uh, individuals aiding in slaves that run away. So the jury is a vote. The jury has power. The jury has responsibility to weigh not only the facts in the case, but the law itself. Is this a moral law? Is this a just law? And it's a vote. We get a vote in a ballot box. We get a vote in the jury room also. And there are a lot of uh, people that are struck out of juries, um, whether it's a grand jury or a pettit jury or a trial jury, which is a tremendous responsibility. So that is the history of jury nullification. Uh, it's a tremendous responsibility. And it has a history that I've cited there. And I would uh, recommend you do further research uh, about jury nullification at the Fully Informed Jury Association website. Think responsibly and think rationally and uh, use your powers as a citizen uh, and think about where you're sending people and about the law as it applies in a case. That's what jury nullification is.